Okay, so what I have here is my fuel injection code. Um, for anybody that has watched my other videos, this is going to be, um, I am converting a 1973 Audi um, VW motor into a fuel injection motor. Um, I'm going from carburetor to fuel injection. It's going to be a throttle body. Um, here's just a quick code that I've written down. I've got everything labeled. Uh, some of these things I'm not taking in effect. I kind of wrote them out just in case somebody might have them or I might plan on putting them in there later in the future. Uh, these outputs, this is kind of irrelevant right here. I'm going to actually uh, eliminate that. When I first, very first started trying to write a code, uh, this, I did a bunch of commas thinking that it was going to actually you know like and and I tried the and sign because I wanted uh, my outputs to equal pin 9, pin 10, pin 11, pin um, 6, and pin 13. Um, that didn't actually work so I ended up actually having to in my code um, change them all. Here's all my outputs. My output being pin 9, this can go to injector 1, um, pin 10 going to go to injector 2, and 11, 3, 6, and then my pin 13 is actually going to go to my LED, my real time display. If you don't need this, like I said, it's not that hard. You could, you know, hashtag it out. I'm actually going to be using that, so I'm going to keep that. I also have my throttle position sensor. I'm going to be running an electric choke, so I don't, there is no need for me to actually have a choke sensor on there. Um, another thing that I'm going to be running is more than likely I'm going to be running uh, a heat sensor choke so I won't have to have like uh, a my water temp be a factor of my fuel injection system because your fuel injectors act actually need or your car when it's cold it needs more gas than when it's warm so it will actually have a, a richer fuel to air ratio when it is cold and when it is warm. Here is like a priming function that I have. Um, my digital right, it's going to put turn on one of my injectors. In this case, I have it turning on my pin 9, which happens to be. Um, I'm going to do that. Uh, which actually happens to be my injector 1. So this is going to turn on my injector 1 for 1 and a half seconds. And then it's going to delay, and by that time, I'm going to be turning it over. Um, you might have to change this value right here. This delay might have to be longer if you're going to hold your key, let your fuel pump prime, and then you're going to turn it over. You might want that delay to be a little bit longer. That way, you don't flood out your motor. Like I said, this is a very, very basic code, and it could be tweaked up a little bit to be more efficient, but this is my injection system is actually going to be going into a sand rail so there's no need for me to put uh, a really really beefed up code I'm, I'm probably going to end up editing this later on and modifying a little bit of it and if I do that I'll post another video up of my changes and this this is the first code I've wrote out so far and um, I'm going to hook this code up and fire it up one thing I am going to point out is I do have a couple restrictions. I put uh, if my digital value gets too high, in this case being 5500, um, it's going to shut all my injectors off. So it's going to write all my highs to low. Now, I haven't had a chance to actually see if this is the case. I haven't been able to peg the motor out. I haven't actually hooked the system up to the motor. So. Um, this is just a rough in. I might have to change this a little bit, as well as the water temp. I have this in effect as if my motor gets too hot, I want it to also shut all my injectors off. That might need modified a little bit. Um, coding wise, uh, my resistance values might need to be changed, and so on. Now what I have here is, right now I actually have my fuel injection system pulsing at a more rapid rate. You might have to um, change this for your vehicle. This is 
this injection system is exactly for my vehicle, for what my vehicle is going to use. Uh, I have this running a very rich or fuel ratio because I'd rather run my or flood my motor out opposed to running my motor lean. I don't want to take a chance of actually burning my valve, which can actually happen, and it's very bad in your motor to run it lean, which means you have more air than fuel. So your motor needs a uh, 14.7 to one. 14.7 uh, being the air and the part to one being the fuel amount. That is what the ideal fuel or air to fuel ratio is. And right now I have that pegged out a lot higher than that 14.7 to one. And then I'm going to slowly back this values down, like my sensor value. Um, I'm going to slowly back them down until it just starts to idle and then I might back them down a little bit more to fine tune it in. But right now I have these actually pegged out so it's going to probably flood itself out. I'm going to be running some um, Bosch M or uh, Bosch uh, Fords in there with the four electrodes on the end of it. So I have a light, I have a, uh, I'm going to be running them uh, platinum plugs and uh, they're really hard to, to actually ruin a plug in one of them. I might actually end up hacking after I'm done with this and might actually end up filing them out. I might put some NGKs or double platinum cheaper plugs in there, pull my Bosch ones out, put these ones in there, and then run run it. Uh, just because doing it this way, I mean, the, the worst thing that's going to happen with running your car with a richer fuel to air ratio, I mean more gas than what you need, is you're either going to flood it out or you're going to file your plugs, um, which is a lot better. Plugs are way cheaper than replacing valves. So that is why I am actually going with a higher um, fuel to air ratio opposed to a lot more air than fuel because, like I said, you don't want to take a chance of running your motor lean and burning your valves out. So make sure you double check your measurements uh, double check your um, math and make sure you know you're gonna get the right amount there's a bunch of programs out there that can tell you how many pulses per second you need your infect your injectors to fire for your for your actual motor um, or for the idle rpms and for the you know the max rpms there's systems out there and there's programs that will tell you what you need your injector to fire at. So I hope this helps anybody. If there's anything I need to touch up on, um, please let me know. Thanks for watching and if I do any other modifications I will post this um, this code as well as any future codes I have I will post them on a website for everybody to look at. And like I said, if there's any questions or comments, if somebody noticed something I could do better in my code, let me know. I um, won't refuse the feedback. It, it'd be nice. Um, and like I said, th uh, thanks for watching and hope this helps.